For the first question, we're asked what the first step in calculating the Lyapunov exponent from a scalar time series data set is. And this is to embed the data, that is, to perform delay chord embedding on the time series. Question two asks, if Wolf's algorithm for calculating Lyapunov exponents uses the variational equations. And this is false. The variational equation is a way to get at the full spectrum of Lyapunov exponents if you have the governing equations, which you usually do not. Wolf's algorithm is a way of calculating the Lyapunov exponents given a trajectory of a dynamical system. For question three, we're asked why is it hard to calculate the Lyapunov exponent from data? And the answer is E, all of A through D above. You don't get to drop points where you want them in real world data. The data points are almost always noisy. The data may not be long enough to fully cover the attractor. And the sampling rate of the data may not be high enough to capture all the dynamics of the attractor. These are all certainly reasons that it'd be hard to calculate the Lyapunov exponent, but certainly there are more reasons as well. Finally, for question four, consider this plot of the stretching factor produced by Kant's algorithm. Part A asks if this curve has a visible scaling region, and it does. Region B would be considered a scaling region in this plot, so the answer to A is yes. Part B asks the Lyapunov exponent of the trajectory is the slope of a line fitted to the curve in region B. That is, the slope of a line fitted to the scaling region of this plot. 